It's Beer O'Clock on Real Old Craft Beer. Today we've got a beer from Nurgne O and it's a bottle of their Gutrids Winterwormer Doppelbock at 9% ABV. So Nurgne have returned to their original label designs, their original art designs when the company first was founded. They are now owned by Hansa. So they've gone, yeah, Hansa has taken them back to their original design which I like it's very simplistic it's very obviously Nergne and I do like a Doppelbock so let's get this beer out into a glass and see what we get I'd like to thank my friend Helga for sending me the beer nice bit of smoke on the bottle opening look at that perfection little bit of carbonation in the neck of the bottle didn't overflow but lots of popping smoke see that on the opening perfect so yes thank you very much to Helga for sending he's been a great supporter of the channel over the years Helga is from Norway and he has sent me some wonderful wonderful beers over the years from lots of Norwegian craft brewers. Uh, Helgo is the, the person responsible for my collaborations with Lysefjord Microbrewery in, in Norway. Um, I've brewed three times with these guys now and um, if it weren't for Helgo sending me the beer, connecting me up with these guys, it wouldn't have happened. So thank you very much to Helgo, thank you very very much for that and on with the beer review. So using my my own personal Nurgne glass, uh, we got a one finger Slightly off-white. It's kind of tan coloured head. Good levels of carbonation. And it looks like a classic Doppelbock to be honest. Nice dark rich mahogany coloured ale. Let's get the aroma. Hmm. Touch of raisin. Touch of plum. And some prune. Then big, depthy, thick, lovely, warming, malty aromas coming. Biscuit malt, bready malt. I gotta dive in. Cheers, everybody. That is terrific. Did I mention it was 9% ABV? It's coming up towards the end of January. I think it's giving me nice rosy red cheeks, this beer review. Just the, the initial kind of warming sensation that the beer's given me. But you do get a sense of that 9% ABV. This, and you don't mind that. You don't mind that at the end of January, do you? It's freezing cold. I'm bearing with it in my t-shirt in my kitchen. Um, I think it looks slightly odd doing a beer review in a, in a jumper. So I, I bear with it. And this is just kind of warming me from the inside out. I can feel the warmth in my throat, my chest, my stomach. And it's just warming me from the inside out. A really good end of January style beer to get you through the winter blues. very rich fig plum prune flavors lots of biscuit malt it's it's a well a doppel bock a, a bock i believe is a german if i'm correct please comment if i'm not correct a bock is a strong dark style german beer am i correct doppel bock is a double kind of strength strong dark German style beer they've got it right 
it's just lovely and toasty and bready and nicely carbonated. It's still very drinkable. And there's me talking about the different branding. So let's let's be clear here. Nurgenato went from this branding to this branding back to this branding. So there's the two different styles of branding. It's not that difference. I suppose the difference being is that there's a larger line going through the O on the new design or the new, the old new design. I'm not sure what I prefer. I think they both look rather cool. I, I suppose if I'm being perfectly honest, that looks more like a symbol where that looks more like a letter. It's just my own personal thoughts, my own thoughts on it. Look at that for a beer. Unbelievable quality. Uh, Nurgne have always had that unbelievable quality. And I've mentioned it before, I mentioned it again. I hope you don't mind me being a bit like a scratched record, but Hansa owning Nurgne really hasn't made that much of a difference. Look at the glass of beer we have. It's still real good quality beer. Easy drinking, good mouthfeel, nicely carbonated. It's fabulous. Absolutely fabulous, fabulous beer. Gutrud's Winter Warmer Doppelbock by Nurgne. Oh, let's rate it. Thank you very much to Helga for sending me 9% ABV. It's a fabulous beer for this time of year. I've got cold hands. It's cold in my kitchen. My kitchen is slightly underground, as you all know. Uh, lots of people ask me, by the way, do I drink my beer off the shelf? Yes, I do. And I'll mention very quickly, while I'm here, my kitchen, there's, the land is high over there. The land is high to the lane over there. So my kitchen is more or less underground. That's that, the main house over there. So there's no sun coming through three rooms over there. There's no sun coming through there because it's built into the side of a of a high lane and, and that's a, a, a meter high garden. So putting my beer on my shelves over here is like putting them underground in a cellar. I really am quite lucky and it's all flat. It's all level. It's not like I'm stepping down steps into my kitchen completely level right the way to the front door. Perfect. Uh, so that's answering. Uh, I get that question an awful lot. A lot of people see that I have beer in the cupboards, I have beer on the sides, and, and they're like, pardon me, do you not chill your beer? I don't have to, even in the summer. I'm very lucky that the beer is relatively the same temperature all year round. <clears throat> and I'll be honest, just very quickly again, sorry for the bit of carbonation coming through. Uh, let me grab my beer while I talk. I, I will rate the beer in a moment, but I'm having a bit of a moment. Um, before I was doing my beer reviews, I've owned this house since I was 20 years old. So I've, I've had this house for 18 years. I've been reviewing beer for eight years. Before I was re reviewing the beer, I used to curse this house. I used to curse the... the I bought it and done my head in. I even done a loft conversion to try and climb out of the mountain we live in. It's made a massive difference because it's so dark. The garden's nice and sunny, but the house is a very dark kind of cave. But reviewing beer, storing beer, I've learned to love it. I've learned to, it's flipped. It's gone from dark cave to perfect beer store. So that's my quick kitchen talk. I'll have to give you a tour one day. Let's rate this wonderful beer. I like it enough to give the beer 
it's it's fabulous it really is a fabulous beer i'm gonna give it a stone the crows nine out of ten it's a nine out of ten from real craft beer please put your comments in the comments box subscribe to our daily beer reviews give us a big fat thumbs up boom and cheers